Have you ever wondered how to get crispy audio like this for your own videos or interviews, talking heads, dialogue? In this video, I wanna show you my settings that I choose in DaVinci Resolve with no third-party plugins. Let's go. So how I'm actually gonna show you guys is by using the intro of this video as the sample. So here I have uh, the, Have you ever you wondered know, how to get crispy audio clip by itself, right? Just brought in from the camera. For those curious, I use the Sennheiser MK440. It's a stereo microphone and it picks up a lot of what is going on in the uh, area around you, not like a shotgun mic that is hyper-focused. So that can be uh, something that I have to clean up and fix as well. But for the most part, it's super easy. Uh, the steps I take to get clean audio. So the first thing I'm going to do once I have my clips dropped in here into Resolve is head over to the Fairlight page, which is where all of our audio takes place. And since I always have my dialogue on track one, I edit using my mixer over here. I don't really add individual effects or anything to the audio uh, just because I want to affect the entire track. So I know anything I put on audio one is going to be dialogue. So I just go in here up to channel dialogue processor. I change it from the default and then go to male VO since that is my deeper voice. And honestly, I don't go in here and adjust any of this. Uh, sometimes I have, you know, maybe I'll bring up the excitement a little bit or if I need to mess around with de-essers or compressors and stuff. But for the most part, pretty much just leave it as is. And this does a lot to clean up a little bit of noise reduction, uh, you know, it does add some excitement and, and that, but the really big change here for me is the equalizer. Now, if you've heard my voice in these videos, in all of my videos, you know that I really like a crispy high end. And so this is literally what I do. I just grab this right here and I bring it up to about that line. And just to semi balance out tones here and let me hear uh, before and after of this. Have you ever wondered how to get crispy audio like this for your own videos or interviews? That's with it on, off. Have you ever wondered how to get crispy audio like this for your own videos or interviews, talking heads, dialogue? In this video, I wanna show you my settings that I choose in DaVinci Resolve with no third-party plug. So hopefully you can hear how it really livens up the audio and kind of brightens it up. With a microphone like that, if I'm not in a really controlled environment where there is some background noise that I can hear, DaVinci Resolve's new voice isolation feature is not something to take lightly. This thing is very, very powerful. And so if we turn this on, this does an excellent job at isolating a voice and removing background noise. So if you have like an AC unit making a lot of noise, um, it defaults goes to 100. Usually I end up just putting it right around 50. That works for the majority of the scenarios. Of course, if you're in a really loud environment, you may end up cranking it up and that's fine. Um, it's not something that I would put by default on every single clip. When I recorded this video, the house was relatively quiet. I don't believe the AC was going. Um, and even if it was just the AC, but everything else was very quiet, I would probably drop this down to maybe like 20 or something very light. And the reason is, is one, it does kind of delay the audio. Uh, it's gotten better over time. Have you ever wondered how? Yeah, the playback's definitely better, but especially if you have to crank it up, depending on your computer, if you start clicking around have you ever clips that have voice isolation, you may find that it struggles to, as soon as you hit playback, it kind of takes a second and lags a bit and that gets really annoying. So a lot of times voice isolation is something I add after the fact. That is the basic settings that I changed to get crispy audio in my videos. Just remember, it's just like uh, when you're filming, you can't save everything in post. Make sure you record in an environment that is nice, quiet, uh, is not super echoey and save yourself a lot of trouble in post. Thanks so much for watching guys. See you in the next video.